The split shot at a wicket is one of the most important things for a croquet player to know. The setup involves taking care of four aspects of the shot. The direction of the croquet ball, the front ball, is determined by the placement of the striker's ball to it. The line through the adjoined centers of the balls show that direction for the front ball. The direction of the striker's ball is determined by the aim of the mallet. In the case of a split shot, for most shots, not all, you bisect the angle of the two directions of the balls. The distance of the striker's ball is determined by the type of shot used, what we call shot selection. As a general rule, the higher up you hold your hands on the mallet shaft, and the further back you stand from the balls, the less proportionate distance the striker ball will go compared to the croquet ball or the front ball. Conversely, the lower you put your hands, especially the bottom hand, and the more forward your feet stand toward the balls, the greater proportionate distance the striker ball will go relative to the croquet ball or the front ball. And finally, the distance of the croquet ball or the front ball is determined by the power imparted in the stroke, or what we call the amount of backswing. Let's watch the shot repeated a few times. Here you can see my hands are high up on the shaft and my feet are back slightly from my normal stance and notice how little distance the striker ball goes compared to the croquet ball or the front ball. 